Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2 Reloaded. Last episode, we did a whole bunch of quests over here in Delta trying to get to one of the jetpacks. And I did a whole bunch of quests, but we ultimately failed because I didn't make the quest that had to open up the new jetpack. But I know what it is. It is this Flux Bank Tier 1. Thank you to my friend Ectorvink for telling me. But we're going to actually get to the jetpacks today. But first, a viewer has informed me that these viaducts do work, and I do apologize for being a little bit ignorant and saying that they don't actually work. I was under the assumption that they still were not finished. All I have to do is hit both ends with a wrench of any sort, click on it, and go. And see, you can get transported through and through. So yes, I am very sorry that I kept saying that they don't work. They absolutely do work, and I will probably actually be using those in the future because they're awesome. Things I did off camera, I moved the lasers around, I moved the magnetic craft machines over here, I moved the QED to this side of the base, and sooner or later we're going to make this place look really fancy, don't you worry. But to get started with today, we need to make one of these basic capacitor banks. So we get this, and then we open up the quest and we can get this. So let's get a right reward bag and open this up. And we get more viaducts. That's actually pretty decent now that I know they work. Okay. So now we can get the jetpacks. We can get the jetpacks and we need a whole bunch of conductive iron and these thrusters, which is a whole bunch of other stuff. But to show you how to get some conductive iron, let's come over here and grab myself a little bit of iron along with some redstone. Uh, where did all my iron go? I believe there's some over in this chest. I am wrong. Okay. But maybe there's still some in here. Nope. Okay. So all we need to do to make some conductive iron is come over here to the induction smelter and throw in some redstone and iron. It smelts up into the conductive iron that we need today to at least get the conductive iron jetpack. So we need four conductive iron, a leather strap, which is four leather, two iron and another basic capacitor and two of these conductive iron thrusters which is two basic capacitors two basic gears which is very easy and two more conductive irons that's four conductive iron that's a lot of conductive iron but that's no problem so these insulated redstone circuits we need you know this binder and then the binder composite which is gravel silicone and sand which we have plenty of because we have the hammers the hammers will hammer stuff down into their things so if we just grab some cobblestone and throw them in uh, if i come back with you guys in a second we should have more than enough to actually do today's goal which is to get up a couple tiers in some jetpacks and hopefully get some cool jetpacks both of the conductive iron thrusters are complete. Now we just need to go on and get the conductive iron for more, one more basic capacitor, and the leather strap. And now we can get the leather strap, the leather strap in here, and we get a conductive jetpack 8000 RF. Not the greatest, but it's 8000 RF for a jetpack we did not have before. Now let me see if I can actually take this and put it here. Does that connect? No, of course it didn't connect. Okay, let's see if I can put it here. We don't really need this anymore, or this, or this even. And let's see if I can. Oops, uh, we don't have space in our inventory. This, that, that, power, power, and put it in. Getting power. Oh, yes, it's feeling good again. I am feeling good about everything again. Now we have the power of flight and it makes it a bit easier for us during the uh, chance cube stuff and all that sort of stuff. Conductive, iron, jetpack, take off the vis vis visio chest plate and there we go. We got ourselves some awesome flight. Very, very short timer. Very short timer actually. I didn't realize how short that was. Let's see if we can just sort of keep going up. Electrical steel, energy conduit, machine chassis, electrical steel, got a bunch of electrical steel, uh, two more electrical steel, the conductive iron jetpack, okay, so it's just two more machine chassis, an energy conduit, which is conductive iron, and the insulated redstone circuit again, huh, okay, that's not that bad, let's keep climbing the jetpack thing, or the jetpack tiers, until we can't go any further for right now, that sounds like a good plan. Electrical steel thrusters made. Now we just need to do the rest once again. Four more electrical steel and one more basic capacitor. Electrical jetpack or electrical steel jetpack get. This one holds 40,000 RF, which should substantially be better. It should uh, substantially hold for a lot longer. 
Oh yeah, already. We would have been down on the ground in the last one already, so this one is definitely a whole lot better. Let's keep moving on, see how far we can keep going with this. Uh, that next one looks like... Maybe... Ooh, energized, energized, energized alloy. Oh, I... Glowstone, gold, redstone. Hmm... I feel like I have a little bit of energized stuff somewhere. But I can't remember where. I feel like it might only be an ingot or two, actually. But either way... Oh, yeah, here. I, yeah, I only have two. So I need to work on that. So I need to get some glowstone, some gold, and some redstone together. Smelt that up and get working. So what is these thrusters? Let's see. Oh, pulsating crystal diamond and pulsating iron nugget. Pulsating iron. Pulsating iron is... An ender pearl and an iron. Ooh, I don't know if I have any ender pearls. I don't know. I think we used them all last time. Yeah, this might be a little bit of an issue. Ooh, what's with the leg? Jeez. Yeah, this might be a little bit of an issue. Let me come back to you and see if we have anything. And now for the finishing touches, the energetic thrusters are done. Then the energetic thruster goes there. And this one is not working hello um oh the crystals ah dummy 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 there we go energetic thruster energetic thruster energetic jetpack let's put some alloys and stuff away we have so much on us right now it's sort of ridiculous sort of overbearing so let's get that put that away and how much does this one hold Forty thousand instead Okay, put that all in. Oh, geez, that completely drained it instantly. Wow. And it's still going. Eh, little bit still going. Press U while wearing to open the GUI. Oh, okay. 40,000. And we can fly. This one's not making any sounds. This is weird. This is, this is making me uncomfortable. Look how fast we're flying. Oh, my. Hold on. We need to come out here and test. Woo! Yeah, look at how fast we're flying now. The other one was so slow in comparison. We're going speed of light. We're going so fast. Okay, let's pop a hop up here. And, oh, that's what we need to work on next. I I, I know what we'll craft next. So I just want to see. Vibrant jetpack. Uh, vibrant alloy. Vibrant alloy nugget. The vibrant alloy was made. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. Uh, with... Energetic alloy and ender pearls. Yeah, we don't have enough ender pearls anymore, so we can't continue for today. But I know what I want to do now, since I keep putting them off. Actually, I keep forgetting them. We need some long feel boots. Yeah, we need some long fall boots. So it's six obsidian, two diamonds. So that's eight diamond or four diamonds, twelve obsidian or twelve iron, and then two obsidian. Very simple, actually. I thought that'd be a lot more. But I guess what you're getting, what you're paid for. So we need six or uh, 12 and then two obsidian and four diamonds, which should actually be just somewhere in here. I had them in my inventory when I was making the other things. Maybe I accidentally put them back over here when I was clearing out my inventory. I certainly did. Okay, so let's get these two here, actually, and we can start filling that up. And let's find the obsidian. I know I have, wait, I know exactly where it is. It's in here. Because I always use it for my tools, because my tools are currently made out of obsidian. We'll be upgrading them soon, I promise. And two more of those in there. We'll come back over here and get a little bit more iron. And then we'll get some longfall boots so we don't take any more damage in the jetpack. Done and done. And then we put them together in the crafting grid. We got ourselves some longfall boots. And now we don't take any fall damage. We can go up as far as we want in the sky way up we can come over here and get the cobblestone that i accidentally left over here one day and no worries about fall damage boom Ooh, user is about to die activating hover mode oh okay how do i turn off hover mode uh i can't press u hello i can't turn off hover mode we're stuck we're stuck here forever this is this is how my life ends slowly floating down to the grass below and wasting all of our power because I can't turn off hover mode. And you know what? Let's do a little bit of this portable tank quest and maybe a little bit of a hard and sell one just for a little bit of power. Uh, it's storage. 
storage yeah that's the right word my brain stop working for a second so portable tank is copper with some glass around it and then the second portable tank that we can make is a portable tank with invar around it so then we can get these two quests let's get the right reward bag okay left reward bag um oh right no space in my inventory derp 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 and oops uh clicky buttons clicky clicky buttons i am terrible at this boom or processing upgrade, sort of useless now that we have like an actual good thing. And hardened tank, let's pick the right one and open that up. Soapy water, super soapy water, and soap. I don't know what those are used for. So if anyone could tell me, I don't know. I don't know if they're helpful or useless or, you know, any of that. So maybe if they're really, really good, someone could help me out and tell me. So let's see what this hardened cell has in store for us. It's a leadstone energy cell with oops with invar around it more invar everything's about invar and we only have two invar pieces left darn huh now i thought we made an energy cube already or maybe that was for a quest oh right we did we did make one but that was for a quest we changed it into something else so let's get some lead out of here Oh, we have plenty of lead and plenty of glass. That's Oh, that perfect, perfect. So I believe it was glass, 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 and lead. Nope, let's switch those up quickly. Nope, still not. Am I missing something? Oh, the block of redstone. So close, so close. And boom. And then re-switch them because I am silly. Yep, leadstone energy cell. Then we can slowly surround it with Invar, but since I am out of Invar, I'll show you just how much I am out of Invar. This is the only Invar I have left in here. We need to do a little bit of work. I need to get a little bit more pulverized iron and find a way to get either nickel or ferrous. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so now we can get the hardened energy cell and immediately bring it over here to upgrade into the redstone energy cell frame, which then we need to bring over to a fluid transposer and put it in. If we had enough redstone in it, it does not seem like we have enough redstone in it. I think it takes a block or something like that. It should be about a block, so put that in very, very quickly. Wait for that to smelt up, get into the destabilized redstone, and then we should be set. It's in there, and there we go. Huh. Hold on. Fluid transposer. How much is it? 4,000 mega buckets, or mill millibuckets, mega, <laughs> mega buckets. <laughs> yes, we have giant buckets of redstone. Yeah, no, millibuckets, millibuckets. There we go. Should be very, very close getting up there. Then we can fill it in and then trying to decide what we'll do next. Well, let's open up the reward bag while we're waiting. Let's actually golden bag of holding a lot of this stuff. I have a lot of junk in my inventory. Very, very cluttered inventory. Gets like this a lot. Let's grab these things out and artifact. Another artifact converts to emeralds when dropped. Two second fuse heals the player when held. Okay, well, I don't want to drop this then. I don't want. I don't need an, er, emeralds right now, so I'll keep this right there, and I'll keep that around since that seems interesting. And that's still not enough. Wow, we are really, really bad at math today. We're really, really bad at math. Okay, need to wait for this to go up again, and then it'll go into the redstone energy cell frame. We can get this one, and then we'll see what we want to do next. Maybe this pulverization one doesn't seem that hard. We've done it before. We can do it again. Okay, so this is done. The redstone energy frame full, so we can collect this reward, open up the reward bag, get a fortune cookie. The fortune cookie will tell us, when falling, aim for water. Good wisdom by the fortune cookie. Then we can move on using the BC silicone machine. I crafted myself a little bit of a machine frame to get the pulverizer so we can do the pulverizer quest and we can claim a whole bunch of rewards for this since we already did it and we did quite a few of it actually. So there we go. We can get these. We need a sawmill, but we already sort of had a sawmill, so it's sort of redundant. But now we have a couple reward bags to open. An aerial faith plate and longfall boots. Well, that would have been absolutely fantastic like 10 minutes ago when I crafted these longfall boots. Next one, a fluxed infused hammer. That's pretty good, actually. If I, you know, ever use the hammer again, I'll be sure to use that one. 
And final one, just a basic one, essential uh, essence bricks. I keep messing those up. The essence bricks, eh, sort of useless, but we're going to grab all of our chance cubes because it is that part of the episode again where we go and do the chance cubes for the rest of the episode. The last bit of the episode. We'll also open up a rare loot bag. We'll take that, 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 and the rest of those are sort of bad. And I have 16 ready to go. So we're going to open up 27 loot bags today because... As I said, we got a whole bunch of lapis now, and it'd be a shame not to use it. So we're going to use it, and let's fly all the way over here to start with the chance cubes. Man, get a look at that aerial view. Absolutely destroyed around here. Absolutely destroyed. Let's start by going up here. I'm going to stay away from the meteor. I know that is for the, um, what do you call it, applied energistics mod, but we're not there yet, so I'll leave it alone for now. But is this a diamond cow? Fluid nitrogen, nitrogen fluid. Okay, interesting. Let's go down over here to our pillars of the doom and place them down. Let's see, do we have enough to make a giant chance cube? You know what? We have enough for one giant chance cube. Let's just do that, get it over and sort of done with sort of quickly. Or should we? I wonder if... You know what? Science experiment time. Instead of making a giant one... What happens? Wait. Oh. Oh, that's what that thing did the other day. It renamed some of my stuff. Okay, I didn't even notice that. What if, instead of a giant chance cube, we just vein miner it? Um. <laughs> um. 50 bucks says that all worked. 30 bucks says I just screwed that up real bad. Uh, need to figure out a way to get back over there and get my stuff. That was fun. That was fun and interesting. You know what? You know what? It was a science experiment. I'm glad I did the science experiment. If we didn't do it, maybe we would have never known. And you know what? The science experiment turned out fun, but we have a heart to get back, so there we go. Okay, time to work out my plan to get over there. Guys, Kiwi spawned, and it's not a joke this time. He actually spawned, and this is the part of the episode where I go, Are we going to get our stuff back? Are we? Because this is going to be a big old gamble. Big, big gamble. We need to get around all of these mobs. We need to get back to our stuff. If we're lucky, we can get the portal gun. If we're extremely lucky, we can use the moon to our advantage. But with all the stuff here, uh, I'm calling it a 50-50. Okay. Uh-oh. Nope. Grave. Grave. Don't do this to me. Okay, you stupid strong zombie. Okay, please, 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 please. Stuff. Jetpack. Whew. Okay, and away, 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 and away. Way over here. Oh, that was a save. That was a nice save by me, if I do say so myself. Although I probably can't say so myself because I sort of got myself killed multiple times by that one thing. Uh, we need a little bit of food. Uh, these two guys? Oh, we're missing a little bit of stuff. Okay, a little bit of food here. You're going to have to be a willing sacrifice. Wait, cow? Since when do cows hurt me? Everything wants to kill me now. Uh, even the- even the pig. I trusted these animals, and they repay me in death. Okay. Ooh, boy. So, we have 28%, we need to get over there, find the missing stuff, portal gun, okay, um, no, we need one in there, for right now, and we need to go like this, okay, stuff, 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 where is stupid Mr. Witherface, where is he? 
Okay. Get on the moon. There. There, 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 there. We got it. It's going to start eating things. So we need to consider this. Where is he? I don't know where he is. God, this scares me. Oh, and I'm about to run out of jetpack. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. How quickly have I boned myself here? Okay, I need to turn off the engine so I can do some stuff. Oh, no. Where is Kiwi? Where'd he go? Uh-oh. Oh, man. Oh, well, we lost Kiwi. No clue where he went. Um, I guess we can never return here. Never come back. Ever. Ever. Like, never, ever, ever. Nope, we need to get out of here before we lose another life. We need to get out of here before we lose another life. No! No! Jetpack! We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Goodbye. Uh... Wait. Kiwi lost half its health? Oh no, is Kiwi around here? Oh, I don't even know anymore. Ah, stupid hole. Okay. <sighs> We're gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna get my stuff back off camera. And yeah. Because I need to get over there. And my cobble bridge is... Okay, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Two deaths on camera. That was it was uh, that was a terrible idea. Breaking like what twenty six chance cubes at once. Terrible idea. Don't recommend it. Anybody. That was twenty seven possible outcomes. All of them were pretty much bad. Terrible. Terrible idea. But I'm gonna see you in the next video. What? Kiwi fell out of the world. Kiwi fell out of the world. Forget the outro, we're going to get my stuff. Oh my. Okay, one problem solved. Got down here thanks to some cobblestone and my amulet thing that I love oh so much. So we're out of power there. Can I aerial faith plate my way back up? I'm not going to risk that. Not going to risk that right now. Okay, we need to get back up. And we need to see if I lost any items. It really doesn't seem like it. It seems like we have everything, but... Yeah, I'm not sure. But I think now that we have our stuff back, it's the safest time to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Project Ozone 2. I hope you enjoyed me watch or watching me go through the jetpack tutorial thing, uh, all of the jetpacks, and getting me absurd. But that's going to do it for this episode of Project Ozone 2. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching me do a whole bunch of jetpack and quests and completely getting destroyed by 26 chance cubes at once. Maybe I'll do that again another time. Maybe one more time later in the future, but for right now. Okay. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.